only the artists that are doing art that grew from the streets, that grew as a result of the suffering, as a response to the suffering going on in the streets, right? All the B-boys, all the B-girls, all the graffiti artists, all the MCs, all the beatboxers. It's a new tradition, like the album says, because it's a crossover between hip hop, salsa, and there's a little bit of Colombian influence. Because Benny here, you know, that's where he comes from. So, on top of all that, it's spoken word, and that's a new tradition. It's uh, stuff that I don't even know how what to call it because it, it's just. It's new and uh, it doesn't have a name yet, and that doesn't matter because uh, we're, we're venturing into unknown territory without a compass. That's right. Is real. Setting our own standards. Feel me? The story of the past. Because in this place, it's every day. Take it in. Feel me? Feel me? Feel me? The concept is based on our knowledge of different traditional styles and how we can how we reinvent them. So, you know, in order to in order to be able to reinvent yourself, you have to know yourself. In order to be able to reinvent certain genres, you have to really know the genres. And you know, Lucho right here, he's one of the people that is probably one of the most knowledgeable in the city in terms of all these different rhythms, all these different genres. So if anyone is able to have the authority to reinvent those those traditions, it's people like Lucho, you know what I'm saying? I've studied a lot of these rhythms too, so I think I'm in a good position also to, to be able to to take take these genres and then take them to the next level, you know what I mean? Be able to recreate them. But the idea is to be to in order to be able to reinvent yourself, you have to really know yourself. You have to really know what it is that you're that you're doing in order to be able to contribute to that tradition. So that's kind of like the, the concept. It's, it's not necessarily a fusion because we're 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 reinventing a lot of these different uh, genres and different styles and creating our own sound, creating our own sort of uh, stand. You know, taking it towards a direction that. that that we're sort of setting for ourselves. So that, that's kind of like a fun thing. The objective is hopefully 10 or 20 or 50 years down the line, this sound will be either used or remembered or something. Like, we're leaving our mark in music history. Yeah. Hopefully it's the beginning of something that we're going to continue experimenting, we're going to continue developing, and uh, hopefully, yeah, it'll be a style that, that people will, will look, look for or try and, you know, not copy, but drop from something from this. The concept of, of reinventing yourself, you know, and always recreating and, and, and always being creative and, and taking from the things that you know and taking it, you know, to, to, the, to the, the next level based on, on you setting your own standards, you know, it's kind of like that spirit is something that, that, that is, is sort of like the philosophy behind it so that people also continue on that spirit when they're also creating whatever it is that they're creating, you know? And entrepreneurs, anybody, it goes for anybody. Yeah, it goes for anything. It goes for anything in life. Yeah. So even CD sales, we're, we're, we're reinventing, <laughs> strategizing CD sales too. But yeah. the selling doesn't stop. It just changes format. Yeah, exactly. So help the cause. Yeah. Oh. Decoding the real and the troubadour encryption. Reclaiming legacies through words and sounds is the mission. So spread the word, ancient texts have arisen. Bringing into fruition a ah. new
Now the chase just like the ancestors. Back in my brain, but they 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 they